Good day and welcome to a new recently bought games video. This setup's a bit different. I have my webcam set up there, so it's like 1080p, I think. I can't remember. There's my Yeti underneath the webcam. You can't see it, but it's there. Trust me, I'm science. My PC's behind me. My here's a, here's a pop shield. Look at that. But anyway, before we get onto the uh, recent war games video, I want to give a really big shout out to my retro game box because they give some really awesome stuff in their collections. So if you if you live in the UK, I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's Europe in general. Ow. But if you live in the UK and you you collect games and you want to have a, a new way of getting games, whether you can't really get them yourself or whatever. Then check out my retro game box. I'll leave a link in the description. A lot of the games in this pickups video is from my retro game box, so check them out because they're really awesome. So as usual, I'm going to start with systems. Uh, I'm leaving two out, uh, mostly because one I showed a couple weeks ago in a channel update thing when I moved my PC up here to begin with, and two, I've already done a PS4 video, <laughs> two PS4 videos. Uh, one was of PT. I still have PT, by the way. And the other was Shadow of Mordor, so I, I won't be making those videos if I didn't have the system, so there's not really much point showing them if I already showed them. So, yay! Uh, first one, I have a Nintendo, new Nintendo 3DS. It's the metallic blue one. I, I like it. <laughs> uh, it's set over there. I can't be bothered to get it. So I like the new 3DS. The thumbstick is, in my opinion, not the greatest. I very much prefer the Circle Bad Pro over the C-Stick. The Amiibo function works perfectly. I, I don't see any problem with it. Uh, the 3D is amazing, even though I don't use it all the time. I still find it really good. New Nintendo 3DS. This is why I can't have nice things. Uh, the next system, it really needs to be cleaned up because I got this second hand. Doesn't look like it was taken very much care of. The disk drive wasn't working and I, I presume they can, well, the people that had it before can be bothered to sort out what was wrong with it. So I had... Knights of the Old Republic 2 in there, so that, that was nice. <laughs> I have an original Xbox now. I, I don't know why I felt like the need to get one. I, I guess it's because the original Xbox library is very... I, I really like it. It looks really interesting. For example, they have Panzer Dragoon. The Xbox was the only system to have a Morrowind port. There's a Conker's Bad Fur Day remake that I, I want to get. Grabbed by the Ghoulies, I want to try that. But anyway, so Xbox, I fixed the disk drive. It works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Lighting, what are you doing? And I had to buy a separate controller for that, the, the slim one, Xbox Controller S, I think it's called, uh, because the one that I got with it was a, uh, what's it called, a Mad Cats one, and it was horrible. It was the worst controller I've ever held. It's terrible. Here's a very big box. Ugh. The Mists of Pandaria Collector's Edition. Whoa, that nearly fell out everywhere. I, I keep trying to get into World of Warcraft. Luckily, this was really, really cheap. I, I just had to pick it up because it was there and it was so cheap and I didn't want to leave it. So I got this. I, I should probably try and get back into World of Warcraft. Well, try and get into World of Warcraft in general. There's, there's tons of stuff in this. It's a quick overview. <laughs> I'm not going over all of it because that, that would take a really long time and I, I'm not I'm not doing that. One PC game, I got this for two pounds. The Sims Complete Collection. Uh, this runs for about 20 on Amazon and retail. So I'm kind of glad that I found this because it's like, it's only two pounds. So I, I can't get it to run. I think, in, well, I think I need to try DOSBox to get it to run. Until then, I, I'm just stuck with having this and not playing it on anything so this is a point where my retro game box comes into the the video so i'm going to start with master system games so to begin with uh global gladiators this was sent by my retro game box i still need to try it it looks like the best game ever it really does truth be told i've actually heard good things about this so i need to try it one day lucky dime caper starring donald duck i've heard good things about this as well from game sack i need to get a, a controller for uh, my original master system because I, I don't have one uh strider that came from my retro game box all three of the master system games came from my retro game box splathouse 2 this wasn't sent by my retro game box it's a port of an arcade game i tried to play it and died quite a few times so i i, I wasn't amazing castlevania the new generation this was sent by my retro game box i wasn't really i got this in wares it's a remake of the original castlevania that was released on the nes uh with updated graphics music and controls an extra character. I don't think you play as Simon Belmont. I can't remember. No, you don't. You play as two other characters. And the last boxed uh, Master, Master Mega Drive game I have 
is Bubsy. Uh, this was sent by my retro game box, so thank you. Uh, this is complete, but I guess I have Bubsy now. If you never heard of Bubsy, one of the worst games ever made. It it's way too sensitive. It controls, levels are awful. Um, I tried playing it, I got kind of far. Not really far, but kind of. And then I just gave up because <laughs> Bubsy just doesn't shut up. So, some more uh, games from my retro game box. Tasmania for the Master System. Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament Tournament for the for the Mega Drive. And this was, I, I was kind of surprised by this. I would have liked to have had a box, but. Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse for the Mega Drive. I've really wanted this. Uh, and I really, I've been listening to the soundtrack a lot on YouTube. I really like it. It sounds really cool. I don't really like the remade soundtrack for the Xbox, PC and PS3 version, but it's just my opinion. I prefer the original soundtrack over the remastered one. So I have some Super Nintendo games. One was from my Retro Game Box. Super Bomberman, Super Bomberman 2. I got this from Wes. Uh, this was the, a game that we played on the multiplex, so if you want to check that out and look at the gameplay and things, then I'll leave a link or annotate on screen. It's fun. It's a fun game. <laughs> Me and Bradley had a, a good old time playing it. Excalibur 2097 for the Super Nintendo. This was from my retro game box. Uh, I, I tried playing this and I, I couldn't get into it. It was really hard for some reason. Like, really hard. Next is a complete, well, kind of excluding manual. Next is Goof Troop for Super Nintendo. I really wanted this boxed. I don't know why I wanted it boxed, but I wanted it boxed. If you didn't know, Goof Troop was a, a show in the early 90s about Goofy and his son Max and they went on adventures with Pete and some other kid. I can't remember his name. Uh, next, I'm going to do Wii U stuff. So first off, Yoshi's Woolly World. I got the Dulux one, I guess you could say. It came with this and the three Amiibos. So the, the green one, the pink one and the blue one. I have the blue one hanging on the wall because I'm never going to use it. I've done a stream. Uh, like a couple weeks ago. I'm, I'm sure you can find it. Something stupid that I found out the other day is that, is this true? America doesn't get this until October. If that's true, that is so stupid. We get it like two months early. Why? <laughs> it's so dumb. I, I really feel sorry for you, America, because this game is really fun and I think you'd really enjoy it, but you get it so late compared to us. Uh, next is Nintendo Land. Me and Bradley played us on a multiplex and it was, we had a good old time. Not really going to go too much into it. We done uh, two videos of it, I think. Lego City Undercover. This is basically just Lego GTA. I didn't get too far into it. I need to go back to it and play some more of it. Last one is Mario Party 10. I've played this like three times. Honestly, it's not amazing. Honestly, I think they should have deviated from the whole party in one vehicle thing. Because that gimmick is so redundant and boring. It's not really... It doesn't make Mario Party fun at all. I very much prefer to go one at a time around the course instead of everyone going at the same place. I don't like it. Some Sega Saturn games. So starting with an import, Bomberman or Saturn Bomberman. This was so expensive to get in English. So I had I had no other option but to import. My second Japanese import for the Sega Saturn. Yay. And I'm really glad because this game is pretty fun. The original Worms. I'm gonna play this with Bradley. Bradley, we should play Worms. Resident Evil. The first one. Uh, trying to get into Resident Evil as well, so uh, I had to get this on the Saturn. I want to get it on a PS1 as well, just to compare it, and I want to get the HD remake as well. I hate some of these Saturn cases, like, look at this. I'm trying really hard to open this. Like, some of these Saturn cases are ridiculous. And I, I put it in here because the, the case is, like, all broken. Uh, I guess I'll do these at the same time. I can't get the sticker off of this one. Panzer Dragoon and Panzer Dragoon Zwei. Uh, these two uh two or three Sega Saturn games in the Panzer Dragoon uh, franchise. I want to get more. As I said, I want to get the Xbox Panzer Dragoon Auto. And so far, I'm really enjoying Panzer Dragoon. I want to get Panzer Dragoon Mini for the Neo Geo Pocket, but that is that is really expensive. And I'm not getting that, so I got those both at Wares as well. And this one. Clockwork Knight. If I remember correctly, this was a launch title, and Sega was trying to get a new IP, but it flopped. Because, in all honesty, the game is not that interesting. You're pretty much just a clockwork 
toy going through bedrooms and things. It's not the most interesting game, but what I played of it, it is kind of fun. There, I think there is a, a fan base for this game, but there's not really much said about it. Uh, I have two box cartridge games. Wario Land for the Virtual Boy. I really want to get more Virtual Boy games, but the problem is they're expensive, so probably not. Actual game plays in 3D. Whoa! And Crazy Racers. This is a kart racer. I had two of these. Uh, one was bought from Wares. One was uh, sent to me from my retro game box. So I have two and I gave one to my mum. Both were complete in box, but I went all Frankenstein on the on the boxes and took the best parts from the two uh, boxes and made the best one. So I have, out of the two, I have the best one. The best in box, well, the best inlay, the best manual, the best the box and the best cartridge. So three Vita games, Assassin's Creed Liberation, which is very, very glitchy. Everybody's Golf, which I'm strangely enjoying, seeing as I've never played a golf game before. And Borderlands 2, a very bad port, awful, awful port. They could have done so much more. Well, I know what I'm saying about Borderlands 2 because I've played over 50 hours of it over the past week. So yeah, this is, this is a terrible port of Borderlands 2. I got one PS2 game from my retro game box. Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. There we go. Uh, I have Metal Gear 1 and 2, but I never had 3, so it's nice to have 3. I haven't played it yet, but I, I've heard really good things about it. Actually, wait. I have this for the Vita, but I didn't get really far, so I want to try it again for the PS2. Four PlayStation 4 games. First one is Bloodborne. Second one is Elder Scrolls Online. I made a video on this. Knack. This was a launch title. I really like this game. I really do. It's a shame that people gave it so much flack for some reason because it doesn't deserve it. It's actually a really good game. So if you have a PS4 and you don't have this because you got it late or whatever, or if you're planning to get the one terabyte version uh, with the PlayStation TV or whatever, then get Knack because I think you'll really enjoy it. And the last one, Shadow of Mordor, which I made a video on, so you can find that, I guess. Four PlayStation 3 games, Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection. This has Budokai 1 and 3. <laughs> oh my god. I've gotten into such an obsession with Dragon Ball recently, and I I just don't know why. I'm not going into it now. I might make a, a video, but I've just gotten into such an obsession with Dragon Ball. It's annoying, so. Rayman Legends. I'm going to play this with Bradley at some point, or with anyone, just to like mess around or something the art style of the of the more recent rayman games so that this and origins i really like i really like the art style they've gone with i'm glad they've gone back to 2d i really like these games one of my favorite pickups actually from this whole lot so far i think i don't want to shit talk any games <laughs> so nino kuni wrath of the white witch this is a studio ghibli animated film game what's nice is you can switch the audio between japanese and english so if you like Japanese, the Japanese language, or you prefer to listen in to things in Japanese, then you have the option, which is really cool. Uh, the art style, obviously, Studio Ghibli looks gorgeous. Uh, I really like this game so far. I really need to play more. The start of the game, no spoilers, is really, really moving. Makes you want to keep playing the game. So far, the game is just incredible. And lastly, Genji, Days of the Blade. This was a launch title. I haven't played it. I don't know. My mum got it for me and I don't know. I might try and play it one day. Maybe stream it and make fun of it. So uh, six PS2 games. It's done with EverQuest Online. This game is useless now because the servers have shut down. Only Musha played like five minutes of it and then didn't play it anymore. Pac-Man World Rally. Uh, this is really, really fun. If you like Mario Kart and you like Sonic and Sega Star Race and those games, I really think you'd enjoy this because I do. And I got this specifically for the top 10 kart racer tracks. I'm still working on it. So that's going to come out eventually, hopefully. The Sims PS2 version. It's not the greatest, but it's, it's a game. The Sims busting out again. This is a game, it's there. And Shamu's Deep Sea Adventure, which is probably one of the worst games in my whole collection. It's just the the worst thing ever. Uh, four 3DS games, starting with Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. This game was really, really fun for the new 3DS. Uh, if you didn't know, you can't play uh, new 3DS games on the old 3DS. You have to have a new 3DS or it won't work. This is the only new 3DS game. Next, Majora's Mask 3D. I, I had to get this just to try it. I got the collector's edition that was up there with the manual, well, not the manual, the, the poster and the pin. Yeah, the pin. Super Mario, well, New Super Mario Bros. 2. I completed this 
and trying to go for the, the coin thing. Who remembers the thing? The one million coins thing. That competition. That was that was poop, wasn't it? But this is just new Super Mario Bros. It's pretty much what you'd expect from it. Super Paper Mario Sticker Star. Well, it's Paper Mario Sticker Star. Whatever. Despite what everyone else is saying, I'm enjoying it. I've enjoyed it so far. I, I got to the, the point where I have to do the game show thing, and I, I just couldn't be bothered to redo it, so that was a good few weeks ago. Four GameCube games. Wave Race Blue Storm. It's a sequel to Wave Race on the N64. Pokemon Coliseum. Pokemon Coliseum. I want to get Pokemon Gear the Darkness, because it looks kind of cool. F-Zero GX. Um, this has... Tracks from F Zero AX. I think you can hack the game to get the tracks that you needed the memory card to save for. And I, I can't remember what version. <clears throat> I can't remember what version of the thing you need. Is it Game Shark or something? But you need a specific version to unlock the get the other tracks. So. I'm going to try to look out for that. And last one, Eternal Darkness. If you never played this, then you, you're missing out. It's really, really good. This was published by Nintendo. It was an exclusive for the GameCube. It's a shame because not everyone knows about this. This is a great horror game. Do you really should try or watch a playthrough on? Because this game is really good. <laughs> it's really... It's got a really creepy atmosphere. It doesn't overdo the jump scares. I think there's like a very... There's a very small minuscule amount of jump scares. The whole sanity effects thing, like... Saying that it corrupted your save and changing channels, it's good. It's a good funny time, but I, I think that this really needs more attention because it's a great game. Seven games for the original Xbox. Trans World Snowboarding, I haven't played this. Rain Man 3, Hoodlum Havoc, it's the same as the PS2 version I have. Project Gotham Racing 2. Where's Bane? Uh, I haven't tried this. It, it just looks like a, a normal racing game. I'm not really too bothered by it. SSX 3. This is my first SSX game and it looks really cool and plays pretty well as well. Every original Xbox owner needs to have the original Halo, so I have that. The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition. This also has the map in. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. But yeah, this has the, all the DLC. It's got the map in as well. I'm really happy with this. I'm really glad that I found this. I found it in CX. I, I wasn't leaving the, the shop without it so I had to get it and the last one blinks the time sweeper this is a failed mascot for the original Xbox I played it a while ago and I have mixed feelings but I, I'd rather not talk about them because I, I'm sure there's people that really love this game Game Boy games some of these came from my retro game box so original Game Boy games Super Mario Land I used to have this when I was younger and I'm really happy that I have it again Earthworm Jim uh what does that say I I can't read what that says it's too small it's blurry. I don't know. But it's Earthworm Jim. I'm going to say Earthworm Jim 2. Mm. Mario and Yoshi. This is a puzzle game. It's a port of an NES game, I think. Mickey's Dangerous Chase. I think they did actually send it in this case. And the last one from my retro game box. So all the ones before that were from my retro game box. Uh, Arcade Classics 4 Defender and Joust. These are arcade ports of Defender and Joust. And I found these two in shops. So Jurassic Park, which is terrible. Very, very bad and an NES port of Golf. So last four games here. Uh, Simpsons Road Rage for the GBA. Chuck Rock for the Game Gear, the Sega Game Gear. I need to get more Game Gear games actually. Dragon Ball Z Legendary Super Warriors. Are you sure it's Legendary Warriors Space? So there's that. And finally, Rayman for the Game Boy Color. I know there's a lot of games here and the reason is because this video was long overdue. I've recorded it like six times now, so that that's something. So again, there's a lot of games here unintentionally. This is really long overdue, so thanks for watching, and until next time, good day.